I am the host of the Bald Book Geek. How are all of you? So, going, you've clicked on this, you know what the video is about. The brilliant Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Me and Jay have an interesting history. Nevernight was the first AC that I ever read uh, for this channel. I won it via Goodreads in the days, and I've never actually won anything on Goodreads since. But I don't really use Goodreads. I can't stand Goodreads. It's a toxic nightmare. Tumblr bitches. Basic Tumblr bitches ruin everything, don't they? So, let's talk about Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Uh, before we get going, here is a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Mountaineering Brand. Mountaineer Brand is a beard oil shaving company. It does everything from deodorant to stash wax, to scrubs, to exfoliators, to beard washes. Great smells, all natural products. If you love woodsy, real earthy smells, I, I just, I love the stuff. I'm going to say this, you can get a discount if you use code BALDBOOKGEEK with capital B. All the information you need is in the, in the description down below. So there it is. I will also say all natural products, no irritation, no itching, because I'm basically allergic to everything. So being able to use stuff without repercussion is great. So for all your manly needs, head over to Mountaineer Brand. So first things first, what can I say about this? Um, Jay Kristoff is a writer that has a love it or you'll hate it uh, writing style. There is no way around that. You either love his writing or you'll hate it. I love his writing. I like that complexity. It's This is adult fiction, not YA contrary to popular belief because that's a misnomer that a lot of his work is YA and it's really not like this is not for kids this is not a children's book YA is for children this is definitely an adult book please turn this into a series or a movie what a let's talk about the book first it's been 20 long years since the last sunrise for nearly three decades vampires have waged a war against humanity building their entire empire even as it tears as it tears down our own only a few tiny sparks of light endure in the sea of darkness. Gabriel is a silver saint, a member of a holy brotherhood dedicated to defending the realm and church from the creatures of the night. But even but even the silver order cannot hide, cannot stem the tide that once daylight failed us, and now he is the only one that remains. Imprisoned by the very monsters he vows to destroy, the last silver saint is forced to tell his story, a story of legendary battles, forbidden love, faith lost, and relationships friendships won, and the war of blood, and the forever king, and the quest for humanity's last remaining hope, the holy grail. So what can I say? This is a compelling, dark, and brutal book in places. It's it's fantasy horror mixed with a little bit of, like, war tomes and things like that, just for good measure, which can be quite interesting. It, it definitely adds something to it. I love the descriptions of the fights and the, the characters, and the, it's very descriptive. It's a chunkster. It's a big book. It's not a long book, though. I mean, it's only, what is it? It's 700 and something pages. And I'm going to give you a story now. I had to fight, beg, and borrow, and steal to get my hands on a review copy of this. So Harper's Voyager, calling you guys out, have never sent me a review copy. I've requested them. I've actually had emails back going, I will receive one. And I've never received a copy. I've never received the book. Ever. And a friend of mine, no names mentioned, got her hands on an early e-copy, so I got to read it. So I'm very happy that I did. There are some minor changes, because the e-copy, slightly different, it was unedited text, so it was like a review copy, so there was some, you know, intentional errors, so they know whose is who. But this book holds up so well. I love that writing, I love that descriptive, big, epic war fantasy. I like the bloodiness and the darkness and the, the sheer guts that this book takes. It's beautifully written, it's fluid, and it's epic, and it's definitely fantasy at its best. I mean, this, I'm going to quote um, one of the reviews, because this is a very, very great description. A gothic bloodbath that will leave you, leave any reader breathless, and it's the story of an apocalypse set against an apocalyptic canvas. It's interesting, because you have, you just have these, this brutal, dark, heavy world that just and you do like you sympathize with characters you wouldn't normally think you sympathize with um the whole thing to be honest that it's it's surprising and there are twists and there are turns and the like i said the writing is just something to get your teeth into excuse the pun this blurs the lines between fantasy 
it blurs the lines with horror, it blurs the lines with um, body horror, it blurs the line with things like uh, historical fiction, epic war fiction, it, it, there's a lot of the crusades in this, and a lot of, which is a fascinating piece of history in itself. This is just a brilliant fantasy novel, and it, it's now and then you get that, and you get those characters and those stories. So, tell me what you think in the comments below, have you guys read this? Because I want to know, I want to know what you think. He is a fantastic writer, fantastic fantasy writer, and I'm very much up putting him next to George R. R. Martin and Tolkien in just terms of scale and scope.